So this is the epic. Yeah, this, um, this was by far the longest, most ambitious uh, undertaking we'd taken at Blizzard as far as cutscenes go, and it really grew out of uh, a picture I had done of some Terran Marines in a hallway with laser sights on their rifles, and I just kind of built a scenario around this picture, and um, you actually can see on the walls right here, that's the spaceship from the intro. I, I took it and cloned it and built this hallway out of it um, just to get some variety in, in the architecture. It was very much just trying to capture the sort of cold blue steel feel of a lot of the uh, Cameron type of, of movies. You know, the thing is too, like, looking back on this stuff, I really realized how much we used to just slam stuff out, you know, like, we need a hallway, guess what, we'll rip pieces off a ship and yeah. slap them together and call it a hallway. And we used to do that all the time out of necessity because we really didn't have many people working on this stuff. Yeah, I just, think on this we had maybe, you know, aside from Joe doing the, the video stuff, we had me, you, Rob. some other guys doing modeling, and Rob doing, you know, he did about almost half the shots. Um, and, uh, really came together relatively quickly um, and that kind of shows in some ways and, and in other ways this holds up really well um, but it was, it was just an exercise in building tension trying to build atmosphere and tell a cohesive story that would stand on its own in spite of the game because everything we do is always so tied into the game story nice lock yeah there's, there's uh, I made that lock a lock um, but most of these cutscenes, if you don't know the story of the game, then you're lost as you're watching them. So I really just wanted to do something that you could watch and appreciate on its own. Right. Again, this is all about playing off the idea of the Terrans being some beer drinking dudes. You know, they're they're sent out here with a mission. They're they're supposed to check for Zerg and blow this place if they find them. But uh, they'd Maybe. rather drink beer. Yeah. Which always leads to their demise. <laughs> A smoke shot that I was really afraid wouldn't work, but Bob pulled off. And we were really going crazy with all the effects that we could get with, again, with 3D Studio Max, because we could never do these kinds of things before, like volumetric lights. You see the stuff that's shining through the stuff that's shining through the fans, all this blue sort of fog that's going on in here. You know, we could just never do that before, so we were maybe overusing it, but I think it's pretty cool, it's pretty effective. I think it fits here. And you know, one thing that was kind of cool is that. Those power suits, really, you know, they were kind of a collaborative effort. They passed through a lot of hands. Yeah, Trevor Jacobs uh, built the initial model, and then I took it and redid some of the geometry and redid the textures so that it looked like the Sarge, and then Matt took them and built individual characters out of them, turned yellow, white, blue, and, and placed all these decals and really individualized them and brought out a little bit more detail. All their, all their graffiti and how some of them... You know, some of them have uh, lights on their shoulders and some of them have fire extinguishers stuck to them. I, I really wanted to make it feel like these guys, these suits weren't, you know, they, they, at one time they were military issue, but these guys have been out here so long, they just totally, they just jack them up however they want. You yeah. know, they're all different. One thing I should say is the, the whole heat influence where we, we actually digitized the gun battle from the movie Heat and had the artists who were working on this, which is me and Rob basically, um, study that and, and get the dynamic of a handheld camera. I had never seen a handheld camera in 3D animation uh, before this, and uh, we really wanted to get this sort of chaotic feel of a, of a, of a battle and, and put you right there and feel what was going that on. Guy, that guy was originally, our idea was he was going to pee himself. And we, so. we couldn't figure out how to do it. And they probably would have told us to take it out anyway. <laughs> I don't know. It was cool.